Hi everyone, today we're going to read Who Said Coo? Lulu's room was cozy and quiet, just the way she liked it, until somebody somewhere said... Coo! Who said coo? asked Lulu. Pigeon, was it you? But Pigeon didn't answer. Not a peep, not a cheep, not a coo. Lulu headed back to bed. Everything was cozy and quiet, just the way she liked it, until somebody somewhere said, Who? Who said who? asked Lulu. Owl, was it you? But Owl didn't answer. Not a chirp, not a tweet, not a who. Lulu climbed back into bed. Everything was cozy and quiet, just the way she liked it, until somebody somewhere said, Moo! Lulu knew, oh yes, she knew, exactly who said moo. Two bad birds, that's who. Pigeon, owl, yelled Lulu. Not one more move from either of you. Now, shoo! So they flew. So off they flew. Lulu snuggled back into bed. Everything was cozy and quiet, just the way she liked it, until somebody somewhere said, Boo-hoo! First one, boo-hoo, then two. What on earth would Lulu do? Well, she raced outside calling, Pigeon, Owl, is that you? I'm sorry, I said shoo. What I should have said was shh. When the boohoos stopped, Lulu invited Pigeon and Owl inside for some cocoa. And a good night's sleep. At least it was quiet. Not a coo, not a hoo, not a moo. Not even a teeny weeny boohoo. But soon, too soon, somebody somewhere said, Cock a doodle doo! Did Lulu yell at you know who? Did she holler, Was it you? No, not Lulu. Rooster, she whispered. Could you come back later, say around two? Sure, said Rooster. Anything for you. Lulu snuggled back into her cozy bed in her quiet room and snoozed the whole morning through. So did Owl and Pigeon, too. And somebody somewhere said, Phew. And that's it. So the craft we're going to make is a little finger puppet like this. A little pig finger puppet. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle, whatever size you want, and then you're going to cut it out. Now that the circle is all cut out, we're going to take some googly eyes and glue them on here. Now we're going to draw the nose and the mouth on our pig. So you're just going to make a little oval like this and a little smile however you want it. Now for the ears, you're going to make little triangles. They don't have to be perfect, just like that. And then you're going to cut them out. Now what you can do is just color in the little triangle to give it some more color. You don't have to do this or you can do it whatever color you want. You can really decorate your pig how you want it. Just like that. And now what we're going to do is um, just like on this one, we're going to put some glue on the back here and we're going to glue the ears just like this 
And now what you're going to want to do is grab um, your pipe cleaner and just wrap it around your finger, not too tight. Don't want to hurt yourself. You're just going to wrap it around like that. And then you can tighten it however you need. Just don't, don't hurt yourself. You can make as many loops as you want this way. And then you're just going to slide it off of your finger and you're going to have this little twisty thingy. And now you're going to grab the long edge and you're going to fold it like that. And then you're going to put some glue on the back here so that you can glue your pipe cleaner. And you're going to have a finger puppet all ready. Just, oh, sorry, wrong way. Just like that. Now you're just going to let it dry. And, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Put more glue if you need to. And then you're going to let it dry. Don't play with it while it's drying because then it won't dry. So just leave it out like that to dry and then it will be all done. And there you go. You have a finger puppet. I can't wait to see you guys next week. Have fun.